Welcome back to the broadcast, everybody. How are you guys today? I hope you are having a great day, evening or night, whenever you are watching this reading. This is a 21 plus reading, raw, uncut, unfiltered, unbiased reader. So please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. Suggestions and questions can be left in the comment section below. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. So hello everybody. How are you? I have the cards ready, set to go. I have changed the energy on this table today. So we have some new energy pulling in. So we have that new, we have a moon coming in on the 28th. <clears throat> Alright, so this is the no and just no. This is a just no and both are code, okay? So, yes, I have a few quick announcements. Um, as far as my, you know, views are going, please subscribe, like, and share. YouTube has been not recommending my videos. And if you don't get a recommendated, you won't know that my videos are up. And if my, res if my videos do not um, resonate with you... Please check me out on another day. Um, and I would like to also say thank you to my new subscribers as well as to my returning subscribers. Thank you for all the donations. Thank you for all the readings, the comments, the likes, the shares, etc. Um, the, the readings for $25 special is still running till the end of the month. So, yes, guys, let's get started. So, I'm ready to get started. <clears throat> so, your magic is out here today. We're going to work on your magic. We're going to work on your energy. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, the Orn Looker. I'm not sure who we have here today. But we're going to work on your energy. Work on your energy. Find out where your energy is today. And go from there. Okay? Yes. One has flipped. Okay. All right, you guys. Let's get started. At the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. Alright, so the lovers is at the bottom of the deck, and we're going to work on your magic with lovers, okay? Talk about it. Tell me some more information here on your magic, please. Tell me some more energy on your magic. Alright, tell me some more energy about your magic. <clears throat> please tell me some more energy about your magic more energy okay and the six of voices is at the bottom of the deck okay and this is in the palm of my hand this is a triangle as well somebody is in the palm of somebody else's hand their situation their circumstance something is in the palm of somebody else's hand okay He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. And another song that I've been hearing is Tamala Man. Take me to the king. All right, so I'm going to get some king messages as well from the divine masculine. Never give up on your respect or for disrespect. Never give your respect for disrespect. Okay, on the queen. That's you, Divine Feminine. Talk about it. Give me some more messages. Okay. One more. The three, the five of hearts. I struggle in all my relationships. Okay. They're struggling with their relationships right now. Give me one more. Ooh, hit the floor, y'all. <clears throat> I want you to move on on this too. 
of hearts, okay? I want you to move on. They don't want to be with you no more, okay? Go on with your life. Break free from this, okay? So let's talk about it. Let's see what we got out here that we are um, never give up your respect for disrespect. I believe you can speak things into existence, okay? What can we speak into existence? That is the Ten of Cups. Your happiness, your abundance, your joy, your peace, your prosperity, and your wealth. That's by Jay-Z, okay? As long as well as the, the muse of voices, okay? Use your voice. You can use your voice just like I use my voice as my platform. And I also would like to let you guys know if my video at any point does not resonate with you, please click right on out. You don't have to stay. Just click right on out. No hard feelings on my end. Come back another day when it resonates. See if it resonates another day. Okay? Make sure you subscribe, though. Make sure you hit that like button and that bell so you know when I upload again, though. Alright, so some days I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what I worked for and I manifested 10 years ago. I didn't know how I was going to get here, but I got here. Okay, this is your feelings today. This is your magic. This is talking about that seven of pentacles. We was working on growing our stabilities, you know, in the earth, watching it grow. I don't know if we put water on it, if we gave it enough sun, talked to it tenderly or what. But that was what we were supposed to do so we could grow our stability. Okay? But, you know, 10 years ago, you know what I mean? We worked on that situation and finally got here. Okay? So now, you know, find out where you are in this endeavor. It won't resonate with everyone. This is uh, uh, feminine and masculine along with the onlooker. This could also be Cancer, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Capricorn, okay? This is also, oh, this, oh, Eight of, of Inspiration. You are inspired by something here. Something inspired you to work hard so you could build. Something inspired you there, Okay? I don't do pick a card readings because they don't they don't um they're not viewed much here. So I usually do a big full reading and you know and lately you guys have been finding that my readings have been a little bit too confusing for you guys. It has been a loaded information and you guys it is very much t intense in t intense energy out here so i apologize if it's a whole lot of information in one video but listen this is the energy and when it pulls through i meditate on this energy before i come out here and before i come out here the same energy that comes here is the same one that comes out in my reading so i'm just letting you know this is the wheel now this is talk about of course there must be lots of magic in the world he said wisely one day but people don't know what it is like or how to make it perhaps the beginning is just to say nice things are going to happen until you make them happen okay that's what it's talking about that's the secret garden. That's, that's how you make it grow. We got the garden out here already. We watching our pinnacles grow. We got our happiness in the front right here. We're in the front row. We the muse of it. We got to just speak it into existence. It's telling us every minute, every step of the way how to get there. And guys, if you if I speak a little too fast, I apologize. Maybe you have to watch the video a couple times to catch my message. But the Two of Pentacles is out here. This is about us juggling. Juggling in whatever situation this may be. May it be our finances. May it be in our love. Or maybe it be in our job or career. Or maybe it just might be in our hobbies or in our, you know, complacent energy. Like where we just, you know, really feel like doing nothing. Okay? That is what it is on this wheel, that juggling on that wheel. Sometimes we up, sometimes we down, okay? That's just how that wheel runs, okay? Then we got the sun out here. We're going to illuminate the things out here that um, never give up your respect for the disrespect, okay? 
um, I struggle in all of my relationships. So that means you got mother, father, that that um, energy that is abandoned, maybe dysfunction. Some of that kind of energy is running around out here, along with the six of inspiration. All right, we inspire by some things, you know, things that you know inspire us. On a six, six could be six of cups, giving the things, balancing the scale, bread crumbing. It could be going back to a nostalgic time in our life, okay? And it could be also wanting victory in a situation, person, place, or thing. And it says, I want you to move on. So somebody wants you to move on in this situation. And I feel you, even though we are apart, is the last one on the bottom of the deck. We have the higher fonts of knowledge as well as secrets okay we also have the queen of materials okay queen of materials queen of pentacles which is queen of our money got our stability out here it's out here okay i'm gonna pull some inner energy here to see what snapped here what snapped in here that made us feel like we wasn't abundant enough all right, because it was something that was buttoned and camouflaged here. It was buttoned and camouflaged. That was what snapped out in here that made us not think that we were good enough. Something camouflaged here, okay? Talk about it. On the frog, it talks about us and our, you know, our joy. It really does. Frogs are really abundant. They like to leap off and catch flies. You can catch more flies with honey than you do with salt. You know, they're out here catching. That's what it's telling me. You know, it's a thorn, it's a cactus out here, too. So the stuff is thorny in this situation that made us snap. Talk about the information um, about the days um, back 10 years ago. You didn't know how you was going to get here. What snapped and made you realize that you had to get there? What happened? All right. It was some childhood, um, some nostalgic situation, something that made you stand on a pedestal. Something that you was carting off, like a clown that you got with, and it was a barrel of stuff that was happening, person, place, or thing. And then you just decided to leave that and become standing in your truth. The queen of swords. We got the queen of materials out here, the queen of pentacles. That's when your empire grew on your eight of pentacles, on your eight of inspiration. I'm sorry, your eight of swords. You know, eight was where you got stuck and complacent in. Okay, you got to look stuck and complacent there, along with the Seven of Pentacles. You know, you didn't know if you was going to be able to make it grow. But guess what? You did. You made it through to see another day. Okay? So talk about the Wheel of Fortune and talk about the, um, of course, there must be lots of magic in the world. Um, <clears throat> perhaps it begins, begins, the beginning is just to say nice things are going to happen until you make it there, okay? So you got to make sure you got to give self-talk, self-encouragement. And I always tell you guys that encourage if you if nobody else is encouraging you, encourage yourself, okay? Because the old the the divine, he wouldn't want you to suffer with somebody that is not for your highest and greatest good. He wouldn't want you to suffer. And when you did suffer, he tried to give you signs and synchronicities through your angels and through the universe to let you know that this was not for you. Okay? But until you could see it and took the blinders off and the rose-colored glasses, you did not see it. Okay? So tell me what we are um, snapped on here. Alright? It was something that was a death. Something that made you die inside. Something that, that took you took your soul. Something that was a tr like a trumpet. You know, it, it played that song. You knew it was time. It was a death to this. It was a still small voice that you heard. Along with that sunflower is there as well. Because this is you to the death, to your bones. Okay? And then there's also, also it was some, it's a, um, what is that? Oh, there's scorpions. So this could be also a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Cancer, or like I said, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Yes. That was what happened. That was what was on this wheel. Something that was a 10. That's something that had came to a completion on this wheel. Okay? So you faked it as long as you could on this 10. 
Okay, until it became, you know, a part to where you had to juggle the situation. All right, so tell me some more things about this situation, please. All right, so this is what happened. You was chained to a toxic situation here on this inspiration on the sun. They're illuminating it now because you was tied to a toxic situation. Person, place, or thing. It had cobwebs. It was dark. It wasn't serving you. It was backstabbing. It was betrayal. It was deceit and manipulation. Okay, talk about the queen of materials, queen of money, queen of uh, pinnacles, I mean, and the hierophant of knowledge and secrets. Please tell me that. All right, so that was busy. It was uh, uh, it was measured. It was, and, and then other people was on looking. People on a sneak tip was watching and, and watching how your growth was happening behind the scenes. They was watching to see how you um, elevated yourself, okay? Might have been a clown, somebody that was a fool, uh, that was out on the fool's luck, okay? Also out here in the um, being vulnerable and naive, you know, juggling different things. They already told us we was juggling. So this is what happened. It was balls. It was filled with balls, you know, and it took balls for them to do it. Along with the cherry blossoms and the key was buried you the key wasn't nowhere you didn't have to look for the key the key was always in front of you all the time okay and you could have jumped out at any time the chair was empty you could have jumped out any time you got ready 1626 no 1629 sorry y'all okay so the people that was on looking and watching okay they were busy getting fat off of some situation you had going with the balloons it was inflated it was inflation here they raised the price on something that you probably needed wanted or had okay the numbers might resonate with you 120 130 60 and 50 they might resonate with you okay so yeah guys that is what is happening in your magic right now so let's see what is now what is now though what is now what do we need to do to work our magic in this situation what do we need to do on this stuff that was buttoned and camouflaged what do we need to do what is what is there else for us to do now all right they said manica this is longing for home, belonging, and the original light worker. That is what we are doing. We on the we out here in the iceberg. We are submerged, okay? We're submerging deep. It might be cold, it might be arctic, but we got to submerge ourselves. And if you ever took cold showers, cold showers can drain your lymphatic system and you know you know, it, it, it balances the body so that you have that flight, fight or flight um, instinct working very well. It will help work with your fight or flight um, instincts. Okay? Um, let's see. So, uh, for, for this, um, this was also a horse and we also have the horse in the back. Speak your passion aloud and defy and defend those whom you love in word and deed so this is somebody's word and bond here so the person who had a barrel of blocks a barrel of crap a balling around being ballers you know and left you on a pedestal they left you there okay as well and they wheeled off being a clown and as we saw the clown was somewhere else doing something else while they left you somewhere standing on the pedestal and they was off idolizing something else okay but you put a death to it here okay and now they want to be busy coming back trying to figure out what you up to on the queen of materials so tell me some more about this um uh this nostalgic situation here this is the inner temple devotion tune into the portals of your heart that's what we're going to do on the know and just know on the know and just okay so tell us that you got a portal to your heart that can open even if you have a blocked heart even if you have a caged heart even if you have a dark heart okay we're going to work. We're going to bust that heart open. I, nobody, 
had a darker heart than I did, okay? Nobody, <laughs> nobody, nobody had a darker heart than I did. I came from a woman that, my mother was a narcissist, and she beat us with extension cords, okay? Nobody came from a darker past than that, okay? She was an alcoholic, abusive verbally, mentally, physically, and socially, okay? Share your voice, and that's exactly what I'm doing for you guys right today. This is why I can get break free from my caged heart, my caged dark heart, okay? Come out of the cave. Persecution and expression, okay? That's why that's over. That's why we got a death to that, because that was persecuting us. It was robbing us of our soul, robbing us of our love, unconditional love. Even when people treat us dark and mean and ugly, we still got to have unconditional love, okay? And they did tell us about faking it until we make it. But sometimes we just can't fake it no more, okay? Tell me something about this inspiration, about the chain and stuff that was toxic, and we cut off from that. What was that? That was um, the Pleiades, all right? That's the double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity that's why i come out here and talk to you because this is also my humanitarian work as well by giving back you might not know these information but with me out here helping you along with the other enlightened readers intuitive guidance advisors as well you are getting enlightened okay and I also want to say, you know, ladies, if you're coming over and getting information over here, make sure you give me a shout out when you use my information. That's why I always keep my table a little bit different because when ladies come over here, other readers, they like to come and take cipher energy from the lower, lower, um, lower readers. And then they use it on their channel and they gain views and where we are the ones struggling to get views and, and stuff. But they'll come and get the the readers that are you know up and coming so messages and use them in their own readings so you know i always like to make mine a little different by making my own cards also having my own style of reading all right so tell me about the um hard work here all right so they said that is the priestess okay that is the priestess that is you are how are you being called to step up to lead? This is how you're being led on this queen of Pentacles, on this queen of materials, queen of pentacles. You got all the materials that you need to use to get you where you need to be. At the bottom of the deck, Akasha. We your guidance is divinely guided. That is the Akasha. The Akasha records are here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm talking about. Now talk to me about this um Metacon. Mentacon is guilt. I release and believe that no longer assists in my soul's growth. That's what I'm talking about. This stuff don't no longer serve you. Okay? 2307. Talk about the inner temple. Oh, we got two. That's a relationship death is what it told me. It says, I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. Exactly. Not people that serve your lowest good. This is where the death card was. This is what was death and over. This is, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. We're going to start over. We can always go to bed, rewrite this story tonight, wake up anew, and start fresh again. Okay? And that's always what I said. If I have to start from scratch because I have to delete people because they're rude and um, not, you know, if this is not the type of channel you like, please, you know, click out at any point. Okay? When it knows it resonates with you. Okay? So, this is the Pleiades. This is the purpose. I know what I am here to do. Okay? I know what I'm here to do. Okay? I was called. Okay, I, I wasn't, I didn't just show up here. I was called. This is the discipline. Okay, and I can ach accomplish what I set my mind to on the high priestess. How are you being called to lead? Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, there's always going to be adversity in life. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Okay, because we got that word indeed. Our word is our bond on that stallion. Okay. Our word is our bond. Tell me what's the problem here. What we got going on up in here on the guilt. Tell me some things about the guilt. All right. They said it could be prickly here. It's really prickly. They said on this relationship, that's, 
your left hand. Don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. So the left-handed person is in here. So the person you might be dealing with might be a left-handed person. So this and it might be over with this person. I don't know. This is cold right here. This is ice cold. I just told you we was submerged, didn't I? Just told you we was submerged, y'all. All right. So this is open on the purpose. Be open to be colorful in your life. And this is the thick and the thin of things. The thick and the thinner things on the discipline you got to know what's thick what how much thickness to put on it and you got to know how thin to make it as well okay and at the bottom of the deck it's that dog how tall you got a great day or do you got a little hot dog okay it's all in what you make it okay that push and that pull okay so talk to me on the prickly tell me what's prickly here come on tell me what's prickly this is the fertility that was prickly about how you was how your ideas was fruition, how your ideas was gonna grow, how your growth in a in a family, um, dynamic home, success, job, etc. That's what they told us our abundance. You know what I mean? Our happiness, our joy, our peace. And that was on Jay Z. This is on Tiffany Haddish, and this is on Burt Burnett, not Cal Burnett, but Burnett. All right. So this is the compassion. Okay. On t oh, and that's how much compassion you're going to need to succeed. If you had a 10-year goal and now you're getting closer to your goal, then you did it. You got there. And this resonate, it won't resonate with everyone, especially those ones that stayed on the journey and did the things that they needed to do on this journey. Those are the people I can talk to right now. This is not a karmic reading. This won't be karmic. But it, we, we do have some opposites of, of polarities here. You know, our good versus our bad. Your magic. This is your magic. You can make your own magic. Tell me what was cold here and we had to get out. That was your willpower to leave. That was your willpower to go. When it was signs and synchronicities to let you know you knew to get going. Okay? So talk about what's open here. That's the financial health. That door of financial health will now open. The doors of opportunity, the doors of abundance will now open for prosperity and wealth. Okay, talk about the thick and the thin of uh, how much discipline you got to have. That was the friendship. You was holding on to something that was, they was you was being nice with them and they was being ugly with you. They was being a, a barking dog and you was being a calm dog. Or they was being a calm dog and you was being a loud dog. One of the two. Okay, because now we are free. We have broken free. 27, 27. We have broken free. Okay, at the bottom of the deck. And we can nurture our family, ourself, person, place, or thing. And grow. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me give you some more. It's really amazing how that Akashi record came out here and talked to you guys today. I appreciate that Akashi record. That lets you know that we are going deep. Deep, deep, deep. All right, so... Let me get a few more messages. I got to get over here real quick. And then I'm going to be letting you go. I'll call y'all later. All right. So talk to me on the fertility and what was prickly here. All right. So that was some communication that was prickly. You had, you were sensitive about talking about the subject. Oh, I don't want them to get upset. You know, walking on eggshells with a person. You know, be up front. Tell the person straight up. You see, when I have a problem, I will tell you guys straight up. I don't have a problem with telling you. And if it hurts your feelings, I'm sorry. I just got to let you know. This was the patience here. You was patiently waiting the 10 years to get where you need to do. But diligently working on your progress, okay? Diligently working. So the patience paid off, okay? All right, so tell me about the willpower. That was a, you was a free spirit. In this endeavor. That was the willpower to be free. To leave out of these. Whatever this was. You a mermaid. Now you can swim free. As free as you want to be. Okay. <laughs> we can swim in the depths of a cold sea. When we take them cold showers. We can go in the, all, in the seas this way. Because we mermaids now. Okay. We're free. Alright. Talk about the trust here. That was the trust. Okay, that was the trust we did on that. Uh, trust that the financial health will improve. It will get better now. Okay, once you leave. No, you can't carry that old baggage with you. You can't take that negative person along with you. Okay, take me to the king. I want to just touch the hem of his garment. Okay, that L Lydia, the woman of blood. Okay, that's what we want to do. And this is re-energized. So go in, meditate, pray. 
bring up your vibrations. Eat clean foods, clean water, drink clean water, get a lot of rest, plenty of rest. And also remember that but us being in this pandemic, this, you know, epidemic, it has also adds stress on you. Okay, because we never dealt with this situation and things are very uncertain. So, you know, guys, please be mindful and be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself and accept things that you cannot change. The serenity's prayer. Okay, acceptance at the bottom of the deck. Oh, yes, y'all. This is absolutely fabulous today. Absolutely fabulous. All right, you guys, last message, 3036. Communication, please. This is commanding performance, renewing your promises. Renewing your promises. They, they gave us promises in virtue, okay? We got promises. It's just us for us to accept them. Tell me the patience here, please. Vision's quest, the karma forgiveness. Let go and let God. So if someone hurt you, hurt your feelings, bad relationship, let go and let God, okay? You can heal. Tell me about the free spirit, please. Two twin energy. So that's that twin flame, that soulmate energy. Reconciliatory union. Strengthen your commitment. Okay, but also this might not be as well. You might have did repeat and repeat of 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 trying to work it out, and we've reached the final destination of this relationship. Okay, it's a transformation though, but it's thorny, prickly, like they told us, because that is a rose there. I'm coming real quick. <laughs> All right. And this is allowing success and good fortune into your life. Part of a greater collective. That's on your financial health. Okay. And the last but not least is hang on. Wake up. Tenacity and determination. All right. Wake it up. I told you we could go to bed and rewrite it anew. But if you are liking the as above and so below, the no and just code and both may you subscribe like and share and hit that bell notification along with that thumbs up namaste namaskar